Alright? To populate our videos here on YouTube, Commander Rini and I spend a lot of time wandering the galaxy looking for beautiful or interesting things to film. We're going to start documenting just some of our favourite places and in the first of this new series we take you to places that are right on the doorstep of Sol that any commander playing Elite Dangerous with even a modest jump range has to see. If you enjoy this video remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and if you'd like to support our work you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. So first out the gate we're going to be heading to somewhere that is also far and away one of my personal favourite places in the whole game and just 52 light years from Sol, the Chai Hercules system. Home to a single G class star and the earth like world of Apasam and its lone orbiting moon of Kume and aside from two stations and a small planetary starport that's pretty much it so why would you go here? Because it's just stunning. Kume orbits its parent planet really closely completing a single orbit in 0.2 of a day. It's almost always brightly lit and the chemistry of the moon means that some of the valleys and canyons on this pocket rocket moon are blue and white. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Next up Icarone once again just 52 light years from Sol. Icarone 5 is a ringed earth like world which in itself is worth seeing. Above the rings of the planet you'll find Somerset Station Starport and the Empyrean Intelligence Satellite Installation. While you're in the system be sure to check out Icarone 1A the close orbiting planet of a ringed brown dwarf star. The views from the surface are stunning. 61 light years from Sol you'll find the system of LFT 926. Just 1.87 light seconds from the entry star is a military installation. It's so close to the star that you'll still be fuel scooping when you drop in on it. Not only is it an unusual cube like design but its proximity to the star will afford some stunning views. Be sure not to stray too close however the installation is enclosed in an exclusion zone and doesn't tolerate tourists who overstay their welcome inside the zone. Next 64 light years from Sol Victorenko Holdings in CD338748 an unremarkable Ocellus class starport but the stations economy is predominantly tourism based and like many tourism stations the interior contains lots of green parks, gleaming towers and pairs of large silver statues. Next up the Skadi system at 89 light years from Sol. Whilst planet 4 in the Skadi system is an earth like world the real showstopper is the landable planet 1 at just 2.64 light seconds from the central star. Even the third planet from Skadi is just 3.32 light seconds from the star. The views from the surface of any of the inner planet's daylight sides are just spectacular but be warned bring heat sinks it's always summer on Skadi 1, 2 and 3. Finally 91 light years from Earth you'll find the system of Apam Napat. When you arrive head to planets 3 and 4 and witness the two close orbiting ringed binary landables. View one from the surface of the other for some spectacular vistas that are simply not to be missed. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.